What's up YouTube? Today we got a banger for you guys, man. Today we're going to be checking out women getting out of trouble just by flirting with the officers. So with further ado, before we get down into it, I'd like you guys to smash the like button and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. So get on me like that. 26 at quarters, it's a female. All right, step out. A white step female. Out. Get okay. your leg in the car. Listen, handsome man. Get your leg in the car. You feel some type of way because my leg ain't in the car? Get your foot in the car. Just stop. Can I take it off? No, leave it on. Am I in? Leave it on. Grace, just stop. You want to taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it kinky. Stay in you know how crazy that would be if a man says something like that to a female officer? That would be a sexual assault or something. They would ch slap him with something extra. So the fact that she's getting away with this and the officer is calm about it is wonderful because he's doing his job right and not taking any of her BS. In the blue box, Grace. Don't. Stay in the blue box. Step back. Just stay in that blue box. No. Look. No. no. Yes. You don't want me here. You don't want me here. No. Stop trying to raise me. Get in the don't car. Don't put me in the car. Grace. Don't put me in the car. I was stripped outside the car. I was stripped outside the car. Please stop put me in the car. Please stop put me in the car. No, 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 no. It's crazy to see after all that happened, the crocodile tears came out and all of a sudden now she is sad. She's crying and she's pleading for help and everything, but due to her own mistake. Now let's go check out another instances where this one was wild in my book. Tonight, an Oklahoma woman is in jail after she managed to slip out of her handcuffs in the back of a police car, obtain an AR-15, and opened fire on sheriff's deputies, according to local police. <laughs> the shocking moments were captured on the car's internal camera and police body cams. On Friday, Grady County Sheriff's deputies performed a welfare check on a woman found crawling around someone's yard while barking, according to the charging documents filed in court. The woman identified herself as 36-year-old Rachel Zion Clay. Police handcuffed her and placed her in protective custody in the back of a police car, according to the court documents. But while deputies were outside the car taking statements from civilians nearby, Clay managed to slip out of her cuffs and access a console in the front seat labeled gun, the undersheriff said in an interview. They say she was then able to load around into the chamber and fire outside the vehicle. Body camera footage released by police show moments shots rang out. Ow. You know how crazy you have to be as a person just to do something that insane? Like, all I gotta say is... You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail. jail. Like, how crazy that is. Oh, my God. Like, you are going to prison, not jail, for practically for the rest of your life. Confusion as deputies try to figure out what just happened. Danny, I'm hit right here. One civilian receiving a wound to the chest, he's later taken to the hospital, according to NBC affiliate KFOR, while the sheriff's deputy is only grazed by the bullet. As the deputies and the wounded bystander take cover and call for backup, more shots ring out. What the heck? That is just insane that you are literally in handcuffs you got away with handcuffs which is wild as it is very impressive by the way i'm just gonna say it. it's like i don't know how people do it but at the same time you also open fire using officers assault rifle on them and hitting a bystander that is balls deep <laughs> You have to say that, but at the same time, that's the most stupidest thing and the most disregard for your own life because at any moment, those officers can also return fire. That means you know exactly what you do. With the arrival of backup begins an hours long standoff as Clay barricades herself in the police car, refusing to emerge. After three and a half hours of negotiations with police and the deployment of an armored breaching vehicle, the woman finally surrenders. If it means saving a life, you take as much time as you need in order to bring this tactical situation to a successful conclusion. This team also got away with another one by just crying crocodile tears with the cops and got away with getting a ticket. I got out of a DUI and got let off with a warning. <laughs> Could it be true? Did this teen really flirt her way out of a DUI? No DUI for me, bitches. 
18-year-old high school student Skylar Fluss posted the video on social media, claiming she was pulled over for drunk driving but talked her way out of it after giving a sob story about breaking up with her boyfriend. You see how crazy that is because, like, a man cannot do that. A man cannot go and do a cry about a breakup and then get out of a DUI. You are, she is under the influence. She could hit somebody, run over something, kill herself, danger herself, or also danger others' life. But at the same time, she's laughing about it and not taking it serious. If I was that officer, I would have slapped her with a big ticket. I was like... I just got out of a really bad relationship and he's really toxic and he dumped me. She even says she failed a breathalyzer, but instead of arresting her, she claims the cop asked her out. I blew a 3.8 and he let me off with a warning and gave me his number and said we should meet for coffee or lunch. You see, that's the crazy part because she's 18 and she's doing that and then the cops ask her out. That does not happen very often for anybody else. This is privilege at its finest. The teen also posted video she says was from earlier in the night that shows her chugging tequila and goofing around. Now the sheriff's office is fighting back, releasing this body cam video that shows what really happened. I pulled you over because you were weaving a little bit back there. Where are you coming from? Um, I was coming from my friend's house. I actually just got dumped. Okay. So I was like crying and like I'm really upset. Okay. How those crocodile tears flowed. Were you on your phone and stuff too? I was trying to calm to get a hold of him because my heart. The officer shows compassion. Well, I'm just concerned that you were weaving because of alcohol, but if you're on your phone, have you been drinking or anything tonight? No, okay. He checks her license and registration, and when he returns a few minutes later, he seems like a good guy. Sounds like you're having a rough night, so I'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything, okay? Con okay, so she, all that, it's a fabricated lie, and that way, glad there's a body cam, that's perfect. Someone was trying to be nice to her, and she is using that as her own little 10 minutes of fame. Whatever you might call it, it's crazy. I'm glad there was a receipt for that. Thank you. Turns out Skylar is a senior at Columbine High School, the site of the horrific school shooting in 1999. She says if the embarrassing video is proof of anything, it's that she still has a lot of growing up to do. I love how they can use that. I have a lot growing up, but the fact of the matter is that I'm glad that officer had some because at the end of the day, that could also probably end up costing his job because guess what? He, she is still a high school student and then the fact that a grown adult asking her out, I get that she's 18, but that doesn't make it right because she's still technically in high school. Also, she's underage, she's breaking the law by drinking, first of all, and then she's driving, which is crazy. And all the crocodile tears, like the guy said, came out and all of a sudden, good thing she found an officer that was super nice and super uh, attentive about this whole situation. But at the same time, that's not how you should do it. At the end of the day, when she get caught with her lies, all she said is, I still have a lot to grow up. But guess what? She's going to keep doing it and she's going to keep one day, hopefully not, endanger her life and other people's life. You should not take those chances. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know. Subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys. Peace out.